Hi hey everyone, I'm gonna try to do this video again. I've tried it a couple of times. Um, I'm having a hard time tonight with symptoms, so I am struggling to get this video up. However, I feel like it's really important for me to take some time. It's been a while and um, I haven't updated those of you who are offering support to me and the family and um, I haven't said thank you enough, I don't think. So um, I'm hoping to kind of do both um, in this video, hopefully as succinctly as possible. So um, for those of you who haven't met me, uh, my name is Elisa. Uh, and if you don't happen to know my, my journey, um, I'm a single parent and um, I am navigating a diagnosis of a very rare form of pancreatic cancer. Uh, I, it has been determined that the cancer is inoperable, uh, meaning that there are no surgical options available to me at this time. Uh, the pancreatic cancer has left me in a state of being um, what is called a brittle diabetic, meaning I rely on um, an insulin pump and pancreatic enzymes to um, basically, uh, what's the word, act on behalf of a pancreas. Um, I do not have a functioning pancreas at this time. So, uh, you know, I found myself here unexpectedly um, after years of misdiagnosed, uh, being misdiagnosed being told that it was depression and anxiety or that I needed to exercise more, I was overweight. Um, and and so, you know, part of my work has been reconciling that, recognizing that as somebody who has been out in the community as an advocate, um, you know, to eliminating barriers to access and, you know, getting uh, the medical system to really recognize the voice of the patient, as well as also being an advocate in other areas in the community, whether that's around birth work or for those people who uh, perhaps are have experienced intimate um, relationship abuse and violence, or sexual abuse and violence, or you know whether that's speaking up about um, access to social services and things of that nature. You know, I've, I've done all this life's work and um, found myself in a place of recognizing that um, I wasn't being heard. Uh, and that's been part of my, my cancer journey as well as really reconcile what it means to be um, unheard and then for you to be right um, and what that means. Um, anyway, so thank you to those of you who have given in so many ways you know from showing up and doing laundry or cleaning my toilet um you know to doing dishes grocery shopping making meals making meals oh my goodness <laughs> making meals has been such a huge help um I can't even express, you know, what it means that, like, some of my hardest nights that I did not have to try to put a meal together, but yet the kids and I could sit down at the table and share that meal time together without stress um, was huge during my chemotherapy months, uh, weeks. So, um, thank you all. If you know, for giving. I thank you for your financial contributions. Those have allowed us to make really meaningful memories together as a family. Uh, we were able to go see the penguins in December and uh, we went to Florida in January and like we talk about that trip almost every single day. You know, we um, are planning a trip to Broadway once the pandemic clears and it's okay to travel um, because that's on the bucket list of like things that I promise that I would do this with my oldest, you know, in this lifetime, you know, we committed, we would never ever go see that unless we went with each other. So, you know, I want to follow through on that commitment. I understand how important it is for her. Um, 
you know, I, you know, I'm also planning another trip for the summer. You know, both of the kids asked, you know, can we go to the beach? And, you know, trying to find a way to do that the most economically sound way as possible, but also without taking away my energetic resources. Um, so your, your contributions have helped us to have these memories, to have something to hope for, which that's so meaningful as a family to have something that we can look forward to. Um, it makes those really hard, dark days, like worth it because, you know, we can say, we're going to have this moment. We're going to share that. And we share a trust with one another that my health will hold me through that long. And, um, we don't know what the future holds, but even if we can just keep hope with us one more day, um, that's such an incredible gift. Uh, for those of you who want an update on my health, I will say that I have completed five rounds of chemotherapy. Um, I was supposed to start my sixth last night, uh, but my white blood cell count was low. And so with the pandemic and limited access to health care, uh, my oncologist and I, we all decided that it would be best to defer it for at least two weeks, but possibly not do this last round, um, because of what is going on. Um, the specialist in, in Boston believes that there, that I may be a candidate for another type of treatment, um, but it, we don't know for sure. Um, I think that she wanted to assess my response to the chemotherapy these last three cycles um, and, you know, do some reassessment to see uh, that treatment, from my understanding, will require me to travel outside of the Berkshires. Um, I don't believe that it is a treatment course that is offered locally. So there's that to also consider, you know, the um, resources necessary to make that happen. Um, I have also made it a commitment to reach out to a specialist and I'm in the works of that, um, in Denver, Colorado, who has a lot of experience as well with people who have, um, a cancer like mine and perhaps they might have more perspective and insight that they can share about how they might, um, manage my care. Uh, you know, I'm also working to, um, battle right now, you know, my home, the kids had tested positive for strep and one of them had influenza A as a positive culture. So, you know, we're doing our best to stay healthy here to limit our access and exposure outside of our home. We have people who are helping us get groceries, um, and other essentials. So, you know, we're doing our best to kind of stay put, um, but, you know, we are battling kind of illnesses as well on top of, you know, the cancer journey and the COVID journey, like life still goes on. Um, so there's that, uh, in the upcoming weeks, hopefully I will have access to potentially in-home support, uh, provided by the insurance. I finally got a case manager who is helping me to see if I would qualify for support like that. Um, and also looking into what it might mean to have some adaptive assistive devices uh, or durable medical equipment in my home, such as maybe a shower, transfer shower chair um, for days that it's, it's harder for me to navigate. Um, and then also uh, considering getting a motorized wheelchair so that I can navigate uh, the journey of um, going out into the community uh, with my children once we're allowed to go back out into the community. Um, that's going to probably also require getting um, perhaps a, a trailer to put on my car or a storage unit for out front to store it in. Um, I'm not really sure what that's gonna look like, you know, but it's the unknown. Um, I feel thankful that at least I, I have the option for this. Um, 
you know, and then at the same time, I'm also just really trying to um, manage my mental health and make sure that I am uh, still maintaining therapy and doing things to ensure that I can be as present as possible with my children and my loved ones and those who I am sharing time with um, for whatever is left in my life. Uh, you know, there there are hopes that maybe I have another 40 years, right? I know that some of you are holding that to be true, that it's a very, very long time. Um, but there's a chance that even it could be tomorrow, right? We don't know. And so my commitment each day is, you know, how am I living today? Um, some days it's much harder to live, um, but I'm trying each day to just live like I'm living and not live like I'm dying and um, you know I think that the support and love of everyone has made that possible and so I'm so thankful for that I'm gonna sign off now because we're over 11 minutes and I know it's a long video um, thank you for sitting with me listening to my rambling and just know that um, I, I feel so incredibly blessed to know that the kids and I um, are cared for in such a way uh, by the community and there are just no words that I could use to really express the depth of gratitude that I feel. Um, so thank you all and um, you know feel free to reach out to me um, and to connect with me. I'm still also a member of the community and I, I still love and care about you even though I have my own things going on. So uh, don't don't let my, my journey interrupt uh, you know your connection with me. So uh, to be well and uh, do your best to kind of stay sane in such a unique time in our human existence.